Hey folks, welcome back to Naman Reviews. Today we're going to unbox and review ZD Toys Deadpool and Wolverine. Priced only at $20 a piece on AliExpress. Sometimes they're called ZT Toys, I'm not sure why. I must admit I bought these because of the hype on YouTube and TikTok. But I've now noticed that the initial reviews that call these toys amazing also have referral links to a certain website, so I think I may have been duped by the quote unquote influencers. That being said, the ZD Toys Iron Man line is pretty good, so I'm hopeful these are okay too. So we're going to take these to the light box for a deeper examination, also do some fun poses along the way. Finally, we will settle on a final score at the end. Before we continue though, may I request that you hit those like and subscribe buttons to support my young channel. Here we have the two ZD toy boxes. On the right, of course, is Wolverine. On the left is Deadpool. And of course, very high quality boxes again by ZD toys here. The print quality, of course, is excellent. And the cardboard quality is also really good. These are both magnetic boxes. They fold open and I really do like them. Up top, you can see some branding. You can see that ZD Toys logo. You can see the Marvel logo. And down below, it says 20th Century Studios. You've also got those individual Deadpool and Wolverine logos. For the Wolverine box, I like that it has a clawed out Deadpool sign. And of course, right in the center, you can see both characters. Turning the boxes to the side, you can see the branding is quite prominent. And also, you can see the characters in their individual poses. Wolverine, of course, has his claw out and Deadpool is in a naughty pose. At the back of the box, you can see the figures. You get a taste for what's inside. You see some branding up top and you have some Chinese at the bottom. I can't understand Chinese, but I'm guessing it's some legalese and some warnings. Both of these boxes feel so premium to me and I love how the light is reflecting off the surface, coloring also excellent print quality is superb for such a budget product so i can't wait to see if the toys inside match the quality of the packaging we are gonna start with wolverine very excited to see how the toy looks plenty of accessories as you can see four hands two claws a stand, that's pretty good value. Let's look at the toy itself. Hmm. I'm kind of underwhelmed. So first impressions are plenty of positives, but there are also some negatives. And I don't know if it was the hype from uh, one of the biggest channels on YouTube and a lot of TikTokers, but this is just a bit underwhelming. Uh, positives, the mold work is outstanding. Look at all that detail. Sculpt looks really good too. But man, you can't tell this unless you have this in your hand. The plastic quality is poor. I mean, it is definitely worse than your average Marvel uh, Legends figure. In addition, the paint apps are not that great. I think the yellow is a bit too bright. In addition, the coloring doesn't match like the legs, some of the joints, the chest, the biceps. These colors aren't matching. And then the marks on the forehead, just not subtle enough. Those are too dark. Again, that's a shame because the mold work is outstanding. I love all the creases on the costume. It makes it look like this is a suit and not plastic, but the paint quality is not very good. And the quality of the plastic, again, very disappointing. Another thing I want to add is that the gaps between the thighs, they look very unsightly. So we're going to have a detailed look at this guy in a little bit of time. Let's look at Deadpool first. Deadpool, of course, is also a magnetic flip open box. With Deadpool, you get a bunch of eyes, two katanas, dagger, stand, four hands. First impressions, again, I am very disappointed. Let's start with the quality of the plastic, very poor. Feels like something you would buy from the dollar store or maybe Dollarama if you're in Canada, like me. 
I think the mold is again, like Wolverine, very good. Lots of detail on the costume, the texture from a distance at least looks good, but the paint apps are just poor. Joints look very unsightly. Pistol does not come out. That is very disappointing. Yeah, it's just molded in or glued in. Just a couple of gold accents here, but nothing anywhere else on the body. These are all the accessories that you get with both figures. And I have to say, this is a generous amount of accessories for a budget product. For Deadpool, you get two swords, got some eyes, hands, dagger, nice stand. For Wolverine, you also get a stand, a couple of claws, mine look warped, and four hands. The base is very nice quality. I do like the print quality. Plastic is good, easy to use. Simply fit this here and fit the flight pole like this. There you go. I particularly don't like using flight poles, but it's pretty cool to have this. I'm also impressed that it has three points of articulation, one here, here, and then there's the last one over there. That is pretty good. Wolverine has a decent selection of hands, though I do wish that we had a couple of fists. The mold work is pretty good, though some of the paint applications are a bit sloppy. My biggest concern with these hands is that the yellow paint does not match the body. This is too light for the body. It just looks awkward on him. Unfortunately, the claws on my figure came out very warped. This is an easy fix. I'll just probably put it in some hot water and change the angles of the claws, but still it is disappointing. The other problem is that the silver paint on the claws is quite poor. You can see all sorts of dots and blemishes on the claws. And again, the yellow on the gloves does not match the yellow on the body. The mold work on Deadpool's hands is pretty good, but again, unfortunately, there is some sloppiness with the paint. The red paint is bleeding in some areas. In addition, the shade of red is a bit inconsistent. It's a bit darker on some hands and a bit lighter on others. Deadpool's dagger is pretty decent. The blade looks good and the quality of the plastic is actually quite nice and firm. However, the handle could have used a bit more detail. Deadpool swords overall do look good. I like the blade. I like the handle. Nice detail on it too. And very firm plastic. However, there is some chipping on the silver paint and that does not look great. You do get two extra sets of eyes and they are magnetic. I'm looking forward to changing them around. I appreciate having them, but I wish there was a bit more variety. These are very similar. Maybe one of them could have been a wide eyed look. Swapping out the parts is a fairly easy task, thankfully, but I was surprised how big the pegs are. Those are some big pegs. The pegs feel especially big when you look at the hole in the hand. Feels like a bit of a squeeze, but you do get it in. I have tried to fix the claws. I think I need to do a better job of it. They do get warped over time again. Swapping Deadpool's parts is also a straightforward task. Again, these pegs seem a little big, but the hand does go in. Let's also get the knife in. Slides in okay. And what about the swords? So I'm surprised that the scabbards aren't complete. Should be going all the way down. Now let's check out how to do the eyes. Just gonna use this knife. Now it looks like he's winking, sort of. Time to look at the articulation on both of these toys, and I suspect the articulation is going to be the same because the molds are very similar. So why don't we start with Wolverine? 
Head tilts left, tilts right, turns freely. A couple of joints here. There's the joint here and on the neck. So it looks down quite well. Looks up okay. Shoulder goes up pretty high. Moves forward. I think I have to remove this pad for it to go even further, but it is hindered by the shoulder pad. Goes back. Good double jointed elbow. Bicep swivel. There's a cut over here. Hand rotates freely. Couple of joints. So there's a diaphragm joint and a waist joint. So diaphragm twists and turns, goes down and up. Same with the waist, I suspect. Yep. So if you want to make him look down, he can look down pretty far. Well, not too far, but that's not bad. Looks up pretty okay as well. Hands look a bit silly. Sorry about that. Looks up okay. So you can pull the leg down to get some extra articulation, but it looks really unsightly. Leg kicks forward. Kicks back. Double jointed knee. It's pretty cool. Good. Ankle articulation and toe pivot. Very nice. So articulation on Wolverine is a big thumbs up. Deadpool, I think, will be very similar. Head turns, tilts, and a couple of joints. There's the neck joint and the head joint, so he looks up okay. Looks down okay. Shoulder rotates much more freely than Wolverine because this shoulder pad is not a hindrance. But shoulder does not go up very high. Again, because of this shoulder pad, I think I could remove it, but I'm not going to try. Double jointed elbow. Bicep rotation. Hand rotates freely. Again, you've got a diaphragm joint and a waist joint. So diaphragm twists, goes up and down. Same with the waist. So he looks down, looks up. You can stretch both joints, but again, this is a bit unsightly. Oh, actually, I think I pulled it out. That's good. I put it back together. So you can pull the tie down for some extra articulation, but just does not look right. That being said, you can kick forward, kick back, double jointed knee, nice ankle articulation, and pretty cool to have toe pivot. So articulation on this is also outstanding. Now that we've seen the articulation, it's time to take both toys to the toy room for some fun poses. Let's take a closer look at both of these toys under the portrait lens. There's a lot to like about this mold. Highly detailed, but it does have a cartoonish look rather than a movie look. In addition, a lot of the golden accents are missing. The quality of the plastic isn't the best though, and I do wish they'd use different types of plastic for different accessories. For example, the belt should be softer, so should the shoulder pads. At the back, you'll see the scabbards are missing. Those leg joints do look quite unsightly. And finally, again, the golden accents missing at the back. It's too bad about the quality of the plastic because this mold is excellent. So much detail all over the body. You'll notice that he does have his sleeves and I think like other toy companies, ZD Toys tried to get first to market 
and they had an earlier concept of what the design would be so that's why he has his sleeves on him it doesn't actually bother me that much he does look good from the back but the yellow coloring is quite inconsistent between different parts of the body and it's more apparent in hand than on camera finally there's just way too much paint that's bleeding there's yellow paint where there should be blue paint and there's blue paint where there should be yellow paint for a size comparison, we have Marvel Legends Wolverine from the Love Triangle pack. And on the left, we have Cell Shaded Spider-Man, again, by Marvel Legends. I'm not going to bring out any Mafex figures because those are at a much higher price point. And these four are all a similar price. So I think this comparison is a bit fair. Though, of course, the size differences are vast because these are 1 tenth scale and these are 1 12th scale. So I think the Marvel Legend plastic and the paint applications are simply superior. The molds on the ZD toy figures are good, but in terms of quality, I would take Marvel Legends any day. Let's also consider the fact that this Wolverine came out about five years ago, and even though it's five years old, the paint applications and the plastic are still better quality than this Wolverine right over here. One more size comparison, but this time with other ZD toy products. So on the right, we have ZD Toys Mark 85 on the left. We have Mark 46. Of course, both are Iron Man toys. And I just find it so hard to believe that these are all products from the same company. The paint applications, the quality of the plastic on the Iron Man toys is fantastic for that price. But even for this price, the plastic quality and the paint applications are just unattractive. My final score for ZD Toys Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be two out of five stars. I actually struggle with the score because there are plenty of positives for these figures. Could have easily been three stars, but ultimately, unfortunately, the negatives far outweigh the positives. But let's start with the positives. The good thing is that they're available now unlike competitors and at lower prices. The packaging is quite beautiful, the articulation is good, and they can hold complex poses. I also like the molds. However, the figures have a lot of flaws. For starters, the plastic quality is incredibly cheap. I would say worse than many dollar store toys. There is zero complexity in the materials. Almost all of it feels like it's made of the same plastic. The paint applications are poor, missing details and flawed. The toys also have many unsightly gaps and many of my weapons came warped. So. I really wouldn't recommend these toys unless you need Wolverine and Deadpool toys in this scale right now. That's my review folks, thank you so much for watching. Please do check out my other reviews of Mafex Wolverine, Marvel Legends She-Hulk, Marvel Legends Carnage, and Hot Toys Deadpool. Until next time.